What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. With the launch of the OnePlus 6T, I am pretty sure that more than a few of you will be going ahead and picking this device up. So with that in mind, I have decided to put together a little tips and tricks video to allow you to get the most out of your new device. If you like this kind of video, please leave a thumbs up, don't forget to comment down below and subscribe as I would love to do this for future devices. So let me know down below if I should. So with that said, let's get into it. So obviously when you get your new 6T, you're going to need to set it up. Thankfully, OnePlus make this super easy using the OnePlus Switch app. If you are moving from a previous OnePlus device, you will likely have this already installed. And if not, you can just jump into the App Store and download it from there. Follow the simple on-screen prompts and your new 6T will have all your apps and data moved over here in no time, saving you a load of hassle. So the first item always on my agenda after setting up, of course, when I buy a new phone is to enable dark mode. Not only does this make your device look better, but it will also save you some battery along the way. So to do this, we have to hop into settings, then go to display, scroll down to customization, and here you will see theme. Go ahead and click on it and choose dark and now your device will be transformed and all your menus and notification shades etc will now have the dark theme. Let me know if you think it looks much better down below. If we go back into the same menu, we can go ahead and choose ambient display and we can decide how we want to see this. By default, it's on pick up your phone to show. So when you of course pick up your device, it will enable, but we can also choose the tap the screen option so that when we are feeling super lazy, we don't have to do much. You can also go ahead and customize what you see here by choosing a different clock style, for example. You can even have a small display message if you wish. And if we turn this toggle on, anytime you get a new notification, it will automatically wake the screen and alert you. So while the 6T does have a tiny notch, you can still get rid of it if you wish. If you go ahead and jump back into the display settings, you will find notch display. Go ahead and click on it. And then here you can go ahead and hide that notch. And just notice that OnePlus does take advantage of that screen space, unlike the Pixel 3, which is really good. Moving on from there, in the status bar I feel there's a little too much going on and we can easily customise it to our liking. Hopping back into the display settings, this time go ahead and choose status bar. And starting at the top, we can change the battery style from the bar to maybe a circle or even go ahead and hide it all together. You can toggle on battery percentage if you wish and if you are super curious, you can even display network speeds. Most importantly for me, I like to get rid of some of the icons altogether, like that volt bar. So hop into icon manager and then here you can toggle things on and off until you have that perfect setup. For those of us who like to make our handsets seem as fast as possible, we can go ahead and speed up animations. To do this, we have to enable developer settings. So hop into settings, go to about phone and at the bottom, if we scroll all the way down to build number, Give it a few taps and developer settings will be enabled. To get to the developer settings, we go back to settings, then into system and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will see it. And here, if we scroll all the way down to the drawing settings, you will see the animation scale settings. Go ahead and click on them and change them to 0.5x and you will see that everything opens and closes that little bit faster, making it a more pleasant experience. Okay, so the next tip is to go ahead and set up face unlock. While the new fingerprint reader is fast and obviously pretty cool, face unlock is undoubtedly faster, so let's go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so to set this up, we have to jump back into settings of course, scroll down to security and lock screen, click on face unlock, and then you will be asked to put in your pin or pattern etc that you set up earlier, and when you are in, click on add face data. It will show you some instructions, and when you've read through, click next etc, just simply line your face up in the cutout, let it scan your beautiful face and you are good to go. Now when you want to unlock your phone, press the power button, just look straight at it and boom, you are straight in. Speaking of that new fingerprint sensor, we can also go ahead and add a second fingerprint if you wish. I like to do this as when my device is lying on my bedside table, it's really hard to kind of stretch over and unlock it with my thumb, it's much easier to do it with my pointing finger, so if you like that, let's do it. So jump back into the settings, go to security and lock screen, 
and select fingerprint. Again, we have to go ahead and put our passcode in and then you will see the new add fingerprint option. Just follow the on-screen prompts and you will be set up in no time. And we can also long press on the fingerprints and rename them so we don't get them mixed up just in case we want to delete them at a later date. So you may have noticed when you are unlocking using the fingerprint scanner, there is a pretty cool animation. Did you know though, we can also change this. Just go back into that same fingerprint menu and this time select animation effect. If we click on this, you can now choose between three different options. I'm definitely digging the stripe so far, but let me know down below which one you like best. So keeping in line with getting things done quickly, the 6T also has some pretty awesome gestures, like the default double tap power button to open the camera app. So to enable these, we hop into the settings and click on buttons and gestures, and we will find another menu. Start in navigation bar and gestures. In here, we can choose if we want to keep the navigation bar, have it hidden so that we can swipe up on the home screen to see it, or we can even hide it altogether and use navigation gestures. And as you can see, there is a nice tutorial showing you all the gestures you will need, and it's pretty easy to get used to. If we click on the navigation bar customization, there are plenty of options like the ability to swap the buttons around if you wish, and you can even set up actions for each button when you long press or double tap, and you can pretty much set these up as you please. If we go back out again and select quick gestures, this is where some of my favourites are hiding, like the flip to mute incoming calls, and answer calls by simply putting the phone to your ear. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can also enable actions for when we draw shapes on the display while the phone is off, like drawing a circle to open the camera, or a V to turn on flashlight, and you can even set this up to open any app if you wish, and I find these super useful as it saves so much time. My next tip is something that I find very useful, and that is how to organise your quick settings panel, as obviously the name is quick, so you want to get this organised perfectly. If we drag down on the screen to reveal our notification panel, then drag down again, you will see your quick settings toggles. From here, click on the pencil icon, and you will see that we can now move our icons around to the specific order we like, and you can even go ahead and add more from the bottom by simply holding and dragging them in. This makes life a little easier and faster, so something I definitely recommend. And one more tip for the quick settings, just in case you didn't know, if you actually hold down on the toggle, it will take you into the full settings for that specific toggle, and that makes things like setting up Bluetooth etc so much faster. So the last tip I will share with you is for those who love to game on their devices. OnePlus has a built-in gaming mode. If we hop into settings and scroll down to utilities, you can access it from here. This allows you to easily game without any distractions by enabling a few toggles, like routing incoming calls via the speakers, blocking notifications altogether, stopping that annoying automatic brightness from adjusting while you're playing, and of course, we can select Network Boost that will limit the usage of other apps, allowing your game to take priority and run in its optimum state. And of course, in here you can add games, but usually OnePlus notices which are games and adds them for you. So that pretty much rounds up my tips and tricks for the OnePlus 6T. If you have any tips or tricks or anything that I have missed out, then let me know down below in the comment section and we can share them out. As always, if you like this video, leave a like and let me know just so I know that I can continue doing this with other devices. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.